Guys. Sorry. We gotta vlog this. Guys, goodbyes are hard. Goodbye. I love you, Sam. I can't believe We're saying goodbye to both Sam and Cameron and the boyfriend. And Duran. And Duran. Goodbye, Duran. Any thoughts, guys? Bye, Duran. We'll miss you. <laughs> Any thoughts? I'm upset. I'm upset. But I'm still here. Bye, Sam. She's still here. Bye, guys. You're still here. Okay. Bye. Bye. Right. Subscribe to my channel, please. Make a quick pick stop at the Sydney Opera House so I can take a quick flick from aboard. And we're gonna get some gelato, right? That's what we do. That is what we do. I don't know if you can hear Laura, but then she said that's what we do. Because this train's a little loud. Oh, there it goes, guys. Let's say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. Trains here in Sydney are two levels actually. In the in the seats, you can like flip, so you can make it like a, a bench, where you can look at your friends, or you can just like you know face it the other way if you don't want to face any strangers. Quite versatile seats. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you later. Over now, stay viewers. tuned. Stay tuned for more. Love you, viewers. But, um, here we are. That's Hungry Jacks. In Sydney, they have Hungry Jacks. Basically, it's Burger King, but. As no, it's ja basically Jack in the Box. No, it's basically Burger King. It's literally called Hungry Jacks as in Jack in the Box. No, it's like the bags are Burger King bags. Oh, okay, sorry. I actually wouldn't know. I've never been to Burger King or Jack in the Box. <laughs> anyway, guys, here's Look at that the harbor. Plant. We're living it up, guys. I feel like a real vlogger, you know? Oh, that's dumb. I think that's dumb. I like having the hand, you know? Well, that was scary as shit. Holy fuck, what was that? <laughs> anyway, guys, there's a bridge. Is that what you want to do, Lauren? You don't want me to film? No, I want you to film every moment. I know also as like our loyal viewers they want to no they want to follow along. <laughs> yeah, this is better than Instagram line. Guys, look at the water. You can see jellyfish and stuff in there. It's crazy. There's the boat. The ferries working here in Sydney are pretty well, actually, you know, they're pretty fast. What is that one called? The, the man fast ferry. The manly what, what was that? The manly fast ferry the right there. Manly fast ferry. <laughs> Super fast. Oh, you wanted to get that guy. That guy's juggling on some unicycle. On the unicycle. We see those guys everywhere. It's nothing new. Yeah, right, Mel. In addition, yeah, just in time for us to leave. Uh, viewers, Corey and Bella here are actually gonna skateboarder. Gaming game. Anyway, they're gonna stay here in Sydney for an extra couple months together. Roomies! <laughs> Alright guys, the Sydney Opera House is just over that over that corner. You can see the bridge again. Looks very nice. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. This is Sydney Opera House. Comments. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Comments? It's uh, not as white as you think it'd be. I love the Sydney Opera House. It might be the most iconic building in Sydney. Mm. That's just my personal opinion. What do you think? About what? The Opera House. I think it's beautiful. I think it's smaller than you would expect. A little mm -hmm. less white than you would expect. It's mm. kind of tiling. But it's really a symbol of Sydney that makes you really realize. Yeah. Hello, Did you guys know that it wasn't actually designed by an Australian, which I think is funny. Really? A Scandinavian man. Scandinavian. Fun facts from Lauren. Here we go, guys. Nice view of the bridge, the huge. What do they call them? Cruise. The city. The cruise ship. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna take this pic now. How? I'm not licking you. I'm not licking. <laughs> I'm not touching you. <laughs> I am touching you. <gasps> what? <laughs> Blasphemy! How dare you do that? Hey, In the name of the Lord our God! How dare you act so heavy?
simultaneously right next to me on the Sydney Opera House. <laughs> Sorry, viewers, this is me. I know you thought it was Nigel for a second. <laughs> Nigel. Nigel. Nigel Barker. Nigel. Nigel Rufiam. Nigel Rufiam. Sorry if the wind is messing up the I audio. I just want to learn everything. Oh my god, my dress keeps flying up at the Sydney Opera House. Oh my god, that could be used for Okay, guys, it is hailing right now. If you can, you know, I think you can see those ice things. It's crazy out here in Sydney. Oh! Oh! It's scary, guys. Guys, I don't know if I'm leaving tonight, you know? I gotta make sure I can fucking take off. Uh. Guys, Simon, what happened to your finger because of the hail? Huh? What happened to your finger because of the hail? <laughs> It fucking, it hurt really bad. Yeah, Look what it did to the plastic. Holy that one of that landed on my yeah, finger. Guys, it's wild. It's ridiculous. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna quick check that. I can call, check for a phone number or see if I can confirm my flight. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, you got to do that. Anyway, I'm other than Adam, because he's leaving. So the prop pack is everyone. All for me. I'm starting. I'm starting tomorrow. All right, I'll catch you guys later, guys. I'm filming my final moments here in Nervous. I'm with Corinda Nicole Hayes. What? Who's honestly the best. It's quite moving. Everybody it's time to, came out to spend some time with me in my room. Very touching. Knowing I had some impact. There's a fucking Uber. I guess I'm out of here, guys. I'll catch you guys later in the Uber. So what's up, guys? I'm here at Sydney International Airport. I'm getting ready to go back home. It kind of sucks a lot. Um, like I said, mentioned in the previous little segment I have recorded, um, everybody just like, I don't know, man. It was really nice having everybody, you know, like, kind of see me away. Not everybody, but you know. I said I said bye to Jack separately because I had to like return like a luggage scale thing that he had. And I don't know, dude, it was a very tender moment. And he texted Simon, and Simon told me just as I was leaving that that Jack had texted him, dude, I just said goodbye to Adam, and I feel like crying, dude. And it, I don't know, it was nice knowing that people care about me and stuff like that. It's nice to know you feel wanted, right? Um, yeah, dude, saying bye to Corey was hard. She was crying a lot, I, I don't know, man. I felt really sad. Um, the Uber driver, like, he helped me with my luggage and stuff, right? He put it in, and then he, tr he like, came back around to ask me, and I was, like, talking to Corey, I, like, just kissed her and stuff like that. <laughs> and he just quick just went back in the car, and Corey gets so sad. I'm, Corey, I'm sorry. I don't want you to cry. But I was there, right? And I hopped back into Uber, and the guy was just like, look at me. And he goes, you're saying goodbye to the heart of your girl. And I'm like, yeah, man. So I bonded over with the Uber driver over that. Okay. He's like, it's always hard to say bye to your girlfriend. I was like, yeah, man. Right on. He was from Rio, so, you know. I feel like to do a big down there with the ladies, huh? Anyway, I don't know. This trip has been amazing love every aspect about it except school because i hate school but it is what it is sorry I'm trying to cook some stuff try to eat quick a quick eat a little din din before i go on the flight my flight is nine hours from sydney to tokyo haneda airport nine hours i said yeah they, they give me a meal on the flight but i'm i was really hungry today all i had was this all i had was a chili kilis at brunch really good had some more chata it was kind of shit Whatever. That's how we use Kit Kats, by the way. I love eating Kit Kats like this. Sometimes I might just go for the whole, all four ones, you know? But, whatever. I should have charged my phone before I left. 
They have chargers on the plane. Yeah. Best part of the trip was everybody. My group of friends that I made. <laughs> if you maybe maybe I'll link my Instagram. Yeah, I'll link my Instagram and Rudy up below. I mean a really nice post about them. Because it mean a lot to me, you know. I came here not expecting anything, but honestly got like the best time of my life. It's pretty good. Not flipping you off, but a lot has changed since day one. Everybody just sitting in Science House or NYU building and just like awkwardly telling, like uh, doing through icebreaker stuff. And you know, now we're like best friends. It was a really good group of kids. Anyway, guys, um, I don't know. I'm just upset that we had to leave. It's time to go back home, but whatever. I got to see my family and stuff. Like, I know they want to see me. I want to see them too. I just bought them a whole bunch of t shirts and stuff. Don't buy close to the airport, guys. It's super expensive. But anyway. Talk to you guys when I get back. And everybody else who's watching this. Balork. <laughs> um, everybody else from NYU down under. Miss you guys. Thank you for the good times. Really appreciate it. I'll see you. So I'll see. See most of you back in New York and Corey, Bella, Lauren, Rachel. Maybe I, I'll see you guys. See you guys later. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Sorry if I'm super quiet. Whatever. Peace.